What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the show. So we're going to listen to Senator Tuberville talk about Social Security. And please, this is an election season. Know who you're voting for. And I'm going to show you this clip. And it's almost laughable, but this is a serious topic. So we shouldn't be laughing about Social Security. But Senator Tuberville has no idea how Social Security is funded. He has no clue. So we're going to take a look at the clip, and then I'll show you how it's funded, and then I'll show you why he's wrong in what he's saying about Social Security reform. But when you're electing people like this that have no clue, how are they going to be able to help reform Social Security when they don't even know where the money is coming from? So we're going to talk about this in this video, but first off, you guys can do me a favor. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell notification, and then click all. By clicking all, you'll get notified anytime we post a video. We do daily videos here, so by clicking the bell notification and clicking all, you should be getting updated every day. And just a reminder, thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. And if you'd like to follow me on Twitter and threads, you can at the TEC Show Live. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys a clip first, and then I'll show you the reason why he's wrong, and then we'll talk a little bit about how Social Security is funded. I'm just briefly going to go over how Social Security is funded because I've done it in previous videos, but I want to have it all in one video just in case you didn't see those videos and you're watching this one and you see Senator Tuberville say what he's saying and then you don't understand why or why it's wrong what he's saying. So let me play the clip first and then we'll talk about it. Here we go. Well, it's no change, Larry. It, you keep racking up the money, $34 trillion in debt and rising, inflation's going up. Uh, $1.6 trillion for Social Security, discretionary spending. American people should know this. The money you've been paying for Social Security, Medicare for years out of your monthly paycheck or weekly paycheck, it's not up here. It's gone. The tax, the, the politicians have spent it. And so we're having to tax and, and take money and have a bigger budget just for that. But this climate hoax, uh, all the money that's going into that, the, the uh, money, there's I think 482 million that's supposed to go to Ukraine. Uh, you know, it's just one thing after another, American taxpayer are having to pay for. We're borrowing $80,000 a second, 4.6 million a minute. The taxpayers can't stand it. They're in a spiral, a disaster spiral. This will be an end to Joe Biden, not just this budget, but also the inflation going up. There's no way Jerome Powell now can drop the interest rates, and he needed that to drop to be able to save his candidacy, but it's not going to happen. There's no way he can drop interest rates. Okay, so first thing I want to do, maybe I should go back just so you guys hear this, and we'll, we'll uh, take a look at it together. Uh, $1.6 trillion for Social Security, discretionary spending. Okay, so I want to stop right there. So he's talking about discretionary spending. He said $1.6 trillion. Now he's talking about every year $1.6 trillion are spending on Social Security. He calls it discretionary spending. Now, Larry Kudlow should have actually corrected him. Uh, I didn't see any correction. I didn't watch the whole clip, so I'm just watching this portion. But uh, let, let, let's take a look at what he's talking about. Does he know what discretionary spending is? And he doesn't. He doesn't know what discretionary spending is. Because if you do a quick Google search, you'll find out what discretionary spending is. So discretionary spending. These programs are called discretionary because policymakers have discretion to decide their funding levels each year through the appropriations process. Okay, so. That's what they're going through right now, their appropriations process. They need to pass these appropriations bills in order to uh, have a budget for 2024. I know we're in 2024 already, but they're still working out the, the fine details when it comes to the budget. They've passed half of the budget, but they still need to pass another half of the budget. So we'll find that out March 22nd. So that's what discretionary spending is. In contrast, Okay, the opposite of discretionary spending, in contrast to mandatory or entitlement programs such as what? Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. And so you have discretionary spending, that's what Congress has access to, and then you have mandatory spending or non-discretionary spending. That is money, that's Social Security. And so that $1.6 trillion that he's talking about, that is non-discretionary spending. That is mandatory spending. He doesn't know that. 
Why doesn't he know that? If you are a senator, if you're a politician, if you're a lawmaker in Congress, you should know how things are funded. Because if you don't know how things are funded, then guess what? You make bad decisions. And then to go a step further, politicians do this all the time. And this is really bad. This is a bad situation because you have Tuberville. What is the first thing he talks about? $34 trillion in debt, $1.6 trillion for Social Security, discretionary spending. So what he is leading the public to believe is that $1.6 trillion, guess what? Congress, we're paying that every year, and that is adding to our national debt because he ties the two together in the same sentence. And so he's not being honest with the American people. So either he doesn't know or he's purposely misleading you to, to make you believe that discretionary spending, that this $1.6 trillion that's coming from Social Security is adding to our national debt. Okay, now, I've I did this in a video just a couple of days ago, but I'm bringing it back just because I want to show you guys how things work. So you know. And so you can make an informed decision when you go, when you hear politicians talking like this, you can understand that they completely don't know what they're talking about. And maybe you should be voting these people out of office. Okay? So let's look at this. And we're going to go over it briefly. Now, he said $1.6 trillion. Um, I have $1.4 trillion. It could be $1.6 trillion. You know, politicians are going to kind of embellish a little bit. So it could be $1.4 trillion, but they're going to give it uh, and make it a little bit higher just because it's for effect, right? It sounds better. Uh, it, it, it sounds better when they're debating the issue and say, oh, it's 1.6 trillion, it's 1.7 trillion. It doesn't matter. It's 1. Point something trillion dollars that Social Security is paying out to people. Now, another thing that he said, he said that the money comes in and then it's being spent by Congress, okay? Or it's being spent. I don't know if he said by Congress. I think he did say by Congress. He's right about that. But there's a reason for that. That's the way Social Security is set up. So let's look at this. You have the payroll tax, 6.2%. When you're working, you're contributing 6.2% payroll contribution. Your employer is matching that 6.2%. So that's a total of 12.4%. That goes to the Social Security Administration. Now, that will cover about 77% of social security benefits. But in order to get to 100, you need to take money from the trust fund. Okay, so that's why they're taking money from the trust fund. The trust fund is money we had a surplus at at one time where we were bringing in enough money with just, just a payroll contribution to provide benefits for people receiving social security benefits and we had money left over. That money went into the trust fund. And now that trust fund was invested in bonds. And now the trust fund, we're starting to draw from the trust fund because we, we've now gotten to a point where we need more than just the 12.4% that's coming from the employee and the employer. So that's why they're drawing from the trust fund. And that's why you're hearing lawmakers now saying in 10 years, the trust fund will run out of money. And when that happens, we're going to see a decrease of about 23% from Social Security benefits. Okay, so we see a cut of 23%. But let's get back to this. So you have 6.2% from you, 6.2% from your employer, and then you have money coming from the trust fund. That is how this all works, okay? That is this right here. 1.4 trillion, 1.6 trillion, whatever you want to say, that is where that, that number comes from. That has nothing to do with this whole half over here. And I did this in a video just two days ago. This is discretionary. This is mandatory. This is how this is paid. So this money never, this money here never goes over to here. And discretionary funding, that is extra money. Okay. And when I say extra, we'll go over that really quick just so you guys understand how discretionary funding is. And discretionary spending goes like this when you're working, you pay taxes to the IRS. When you're retired, if you are receiving enough in retirement, you also might qualify to pay taxes. Corporations also pay taxes. All of this money goes to Congress. D 
discretionary spending. Now, Congress can, they can spend the money how they see fit, okay? That's how that works. But the money that's coming from here, this payroll tax, the payroll contribution, and the trust fund, all of this money is walled off. This money does not go to Congress. They don't have access to the money. And so when you hear people like Tuberville, who should know this because he's a senator and he is responsible for looking at legislation, voting on legislation, creating legislation, he should know how things work. And if you don't, then don't say anything because it makes you sound really silly. And that's the way he sounds right now. Really silly. Like he doesn't know anything about how social security is run and where the money is coming from. And the fact that that 1.6 trillion that he's talking about, it's not adding to our national debt. And let me go back and show you what is adding to the national debt. What's adding to the national debt is discretionary spending. All of this right here, this is what adds to that $34.46 trillion. Not Social Security. None of that money is adding to the national debt. And it's sad, it's really sad that we have lawmakers that do not understand this, or if they do understand it, they're misleading you because they want you to believe that that $1.6 trillion is adding to our national debt. So we need to do something about that $1.6 trillion that we're spending in Social Security every year. And so I don't know. I don't know what, what to say when it comes to these lawmakers putting out this information. But I will tell you one thing. Make sure you know who you're voting for. And if you have people like this who have no idea of how, how things work, they don't need to be in office. They're actually hurting us. They're not helping us at all. Because if they don't know how the system is run, then guess what? They'll make bad decisions, and they can be misled by their counterparts. They can be misled because their counterparts can say, yeah, you know what? This is adding to the debt. Social Security is adding to the debt. We need to do something about that. We need to, will you, will you support this bill? And if people like Tuberville have no clue, they don't know, and they think, oh, yeah, well, it is adding to the debt. Let's, let's go ahead and take care of that. Yeah, I'm for that bill. I'll go ahead and support that. That's dangerous. That's why it's important when you hear politicians just say things. And, and that's why I like, when I hear politicians say stuff like that, I like to correct them and show you guys the right way. Because hopefully, maybe you're in his state. And when he runs for re-election, you'll remember this and say, hey, you know what? He got it wrong, really wrong when it came to Social Security. And some of these lawmakers, they've been saying it for years and years and years. They don't even correct it. I don't even know if, if they're, I, I don't know what's going on. But if they don't know the simple ways that our government runs, then I don't know what to say. They should not be there. They should not be there because they're hurting the American people. I want to know what you guys think, so let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.